It's Wednesday, which means it's brand new comic book day, and in my hands is one of those releases. It's King Thor, number one. This is a comic that has been, uh, I'd say, waited for for quite some time, uh, even though we didn't know that it was coming out seven years in the making, and this is the beginning of the end, the final chapter of Jason Aaron's uh, just epic Thor storyline. Um, it... it Reunites him with Isad Rabik. Uh, we got Ives Sforcina is the colorist, and Joe Sabino is the letter. Um, so this all started at Thor God of Thunder way back seven years ago, as I said. Uh, Jason and Aaron, like introduced these, this interesting concept. We got this this guy, the God Butcher. Um, he had this thing called the Necrosaur that was built off of Null, who wound up being the god of the symbiotes, who's now a big deal in absolute carnage. Um, and uh, it... it also introduced this concept of uh, future Thor, where he is the All-Father. He's got three daughters, and it's kind of like the end of existence. Um, the, the nine realms are just destroyed, or ten realms are destroyed. Um, that the, you know, what do you do with that? Some interesting stuff with there. Um, and this is this has just been a, a story, a thread that's been going on and on and on and on and on, and this is the final chapter, which is really interesting because there's this been this um, theme of, of stories and books and, and telling stories and pleading stories, and this really does in a way feel thematically like very meta way that this is that final chapter that's going to be put into the library of the gods, uh, of, you know, to, to tell the final story of Thor. So there's something that just feels very poetic about it, and it's something I really really liked uh, about the issue. Um, the story itself is 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 great as someone who's read all of this, who's like, follow this through, who's been really interested in, uh, to see where it all goes, who, who I, I think I like the Thor God of Thunder original story, I don't remember specifically, looking back at it, I, I think the cop stuff's really cool, and, and the art was fantastic, and I remember enjoying it, um, I don't know, go back to my reviews and tell me I'm, I'm lying, um, and the, like, it just, it feels like it's starting to pay off, not really starting to pay off, because it's always been good, but this is the payoff. Like this is the end. This is the, this is the uh, great shot. Um, and look, like I'm looking forward to it. Uh, that being said, like I've been reading this for the entire time. It's not really new reader friendly. This is not an easy comic. I think for people to pick up uh, and just start with. Uh, things aren't necessarily explained. There's something at the end that the impact won't be quite as big. Uh, it's not unfriendly to new readers. You're probably gonna have to google some stuff here and there to pick up on it but generally this is the one i would say start here like you'd have to go i mean you could just read thor god of thunder and then skip to this so this is really what would work um that wouldn't be an issue at all um but uh you know you, you got to pick up on some stuff here and there and i think you'll enjoy it a bit more if you've been reading it um and again it's, it's kind of hard to judge of new readers because i'm not one so um overall like I love the story. I think this is a great, uh, it really does feel poetic and like a great start to the finale. Um, the art is is fantastic. I'm like, this is not really a shock. Um, Rubik is, uh, I think it's Rubik or Rubik. I don't know. Um, the, the art's always phenomenal. Like, it's just, it's just great, fantastic art. Uh, and what's actually interesting about this is there's some, there's some scenes, I don't want to go into the specific scenes, where things could have been done a little bit different frame-wise, and you would have wound up um, maybe focused on stuff a little bit more, but instead the, the focus is really kind of panned out. Um, so you don't kind of get the specifics of what's going on. Uh, I mean, you know what's going on, but like the, the detail isn't quite there. And for some reason that feels even more appropriate in that you really do feel like uh, someone who is watching the bigger battle and the greater scene. So, uh, again, even the art feels thematically fitting for what's presented. Overall, like, I just think this is a solid start. I'm really looking forward to seeing where it goes. Uh, and, and um, yeah, this is something that, like, if you have not... Uh, if you've been reading since Thor God of Thunder, like, you're going to hopefully enjoy this. I think you're going to enjoy this. I enjoy this. Uh, and if you haven't read Thor God of, God of Thunder, go read that and then pick this up. Um, that would be really smart. It's a great read, so I, I recommend Thor of God of Thunder as well. Uh, so this is out in comic shops today. You can go uh, pick it up. There's a link in this video. Put it in your zip code. It'll tell you if a shop's near you. No shop, no problem. We do have some affiliate links. There are affiliate links, so we get a small percentage. 
definitely go support your shop. And speaking of support, I want to thank Marvel for hooking us up with this review copy. We always appreciate it, and thank you for watching. Now, if you're into Thor, if you're into Jason Aaron, Isab Rabik's art, Marvel, comics in general, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep reading those comics, and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.